Okay, I, uh, yesterday I got started on the furring strips. Um, I thought about cutting these down to be the width of the steel tubes. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to be covering this in uh, in a tongue and groove siding, uh, a six inch tongue and groove, but I wanted to give it something good to secure into. So instead of just cutting them down just to be the width of these two inch tubes, I went ahead and I'm using a full uh, six inch, uh, five quarter. Uh, basically, I'm recycling old dock wood. This was old pressure treated. Um, I rebuilt the dock a couple years back. If you haven't seen that video, go check that one out. Uh, it's kind of a, a little timeline recap of that. Uh, but I saved all the old wood, got all the screws out of it, and anything that was serviceable, I went ahead and uh, put up so I can reuse it for other projects. And this is one of those projects. So good opportunity to use some free five-quarter pressure treated. Um, it's not perfect. I actually kept it for repairs on the other decks that we have that are still of that same patina. Uh, I kind of like that patina, but you won't see that on the exterior. So what I'm doing is measuring them, cutting them. Uh, I'm using a, a, a heavy-duty construction adhesive and some clamps holding it on. Then I'm drilling a pilot hole, eighth inch, and then I think a 564, I think it is. Um, and then I'm using a stainless steel countersunk screw, a uh, uh, number 10 2 inch screw uh, that's going to go well into these tubes uh, to give it good support. Plenty of those so that when I go ahead and put the siding on, I've got something solid and uh, well adhered to the trailer frame um, to go ahead and uh, staple into. I'm going to be using uh, one and a half inch um, pneumatic staples to hold the tongue groove plus uh, adhesive as well. And then I'll cap the corners and so on. So that said, I'm running out of daylight, so I better get to work. So you gotta love free wood. daylight last night when I put the front on so I didn't get much video at the end of that but just want to show you what we got today both sides and the front are all done uh, they're glued and screwed I'm using um, all-purpose adhesive on this old uh, five-quarter uh, decking it has a good backside which faces inside this front's gonna be covered I'm running a number two uh, excuse me a, um, a number 10 two inch stainless into the stainless as well as the steel tubes in the back and that way they don't, they don't rust out on me and um, we're good to go so I want to go ahead and my goal today is to get the sides done if possible uh, before I run out of daylight again but what I'm using is I've got this six inch tongue and groove and I'm doing the, the, the round side there's also a side here that's a little bit of a, a 45 uh, but I'm doing the round side I've already sealed it all um, a good solid coat of the sealer. I'll probably do a wipe down on the sealer once it's in place. Uh, this is the same sealer that you would put on a on a barn on a barn or a, a log home or something like that. That's what it's really designed for. A vertical exterior. It's not a decking seal. That's why it doesn't have that that glossy sealy look. But it penetrates really well into the wood. Uh, you see I didn't do the back, just the front. So I got those all done up. I have on the frame here I got these little bump outs where they used to have some type of support piece or whatever. I've got one of those on either side, but to keep things level, I've got some old pieces of wood. Um, I want to put it in the front and back so the so the first piece goes on nice and nice and level. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll glue these back, and then I'll go ahead and staple. I got a one-inch um, double-sided uh, staple. I'm going to shoot down through here through the through the tongue, and then set the next one up on top of it. So that's the game plan. I don't have to do much cutting at all, if any, maybe. 
I'm going to mark this one here maybe a quarter of an inch, if that. Um, since I got the extra distance, or the extra uh, length on the front here with this extra piece of um, five quarter. So, that said, time to get to work. Well, that sure went a lot quicker than I expected. Um, still took a while, but got all this solid tongue and groove on at 21 pieces, uh, seven on each side, and then I'll use an eighth piece uh, ripped down to finish the top after I put that five quarter up. So that's all I've got for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next uh, next progress update. I use my pencil. Yeah. Did my stainless screw. Stainless screw pencil. <laughs>